curry goes. And so first, I'm going to start by adding. Well, everything I have here will be going onto the goats at the same time. So I have some all-purpose seasoning with some pimento seeds. I have my curry powder. I have some onions, kellyons, pepper, garlic, and some thyme. So I'm going to start by adding my powder seasoning. I'm also going to add my curry powder. My onions, my scallion. Next, I'll be adding some thyme leaves. I usually just take my leaves off my stem, just slide them off just like that. Last but not least, my pepper and my garlic. So we just want to give everything a nice mix. Oops. As you can see, our goat is nicely seasoned and I'm about to put my pot on with about a teaspoon of vegetable oil. I just want to check on my goat now. It has been in the pot for about four minutes. Just want to stir it up a bit. So I'm back and this is my goat after pressuring for about 35 minutes. It is fully cooked so all I'm doing is allow it to simmer a little so that I can get the gravy to the consistency that I want it. And that is it. I do not need to add anything else to the pot. It is fully seasoned, goat is fully cooked and it tastes perfect to me if you ask me so in about another maybe five to eight minutes i can turn off my stove and it's ready to share once my gravy is thick enough 